everyone, welcome back to my channel this week. This week I'm gonna start a part one to a discussion that I feel like is really important. Ways that we make ourselves look desperate, particularly in dating and relationships and when we're first meeting people. Um, I think that it's really important for both men and women not to do things that really make us look desperate because I feel like that's an opportunity for people to try to manipulate us and um, you know, bad people will take that opportunity so I think that sometimes men and women, you know, when they see certain attributes in us, they sometimes can take advantage of that. So I'm going to start a discussion and this is going to be part one of how we make ourselves look desperate. So my first topic is I feel like we make ourselves look desperate when we feel like we are privileged to have somebody's time and attention. So I just wanna tell you just a, like a real quick story or a scenario of where I felt like I did this. So I was dating this guy and I was like, oh my God, he's like beautiful. If you guys have ever seen um, The Big Bang Theory and uh, the character Amy, she saw this really good looking guy and every time she saw him, she made like this noise like, hmm. <laughs> it was like every time she saw him, it was like something like internal in her made her go, hmm like audibly um not even in her head like it was hilarious so if you guys saw that episode um if not google it because it's pretty funny but um so he was a really good looking guy and he had his crap together and i felt like i was privileged to be seeing him or talking to him dating him whatever you want to really say and um so it made me do things i feel like we're out of desperation because he would pretty much text me every day like that's not really the issue it was just like when i saw him was just so sporadic that i was like well goodness gracious like why are you only texting me to see me like certain times and then like when i want to see you you're making it seem like it's busy but you know i'm supposed to come running when you're available and that's really what i felt like i was doing is making it seem like oh well every time he texts me it was like hey come over hey you know whatever whatever you know i was like oh okay you know and that made me look desperate like i was just sitting there waiting for his time and attention and then in turn you know after doing that several times times it makes him feel like you know oh well you know she's easily manipulated you know she's basically sitting around waiting for me to text her to come over and hang out and stuff like that and so it got to be just a really bad situation because he was a control freak anyway so that was just already stressful enough that you know then added into well I only see you when you feel like dealing with me you know of course looks fade you know like when somebody starts to be stressful to you or you know someone's just putting you in a generally bad mood i mean they become uglier you know so that's why i feel like you shouldn't date based on looks because of the fact that you know when people start doing crazy things or when people start mistreating you they become ugly to you or they do to me you know eventually like once i snap out of it so um i was grateful for snapping out of it but the lesson to be learned in that was that I was making it seem like to him that, you know, basically like hanging out with him and his time and, you know, when he saw me and being able to be graced with his presence was pretty much like a privilege and that he could pretty much use it to his advantage whenever he wanted to. And those are things that I was teaching him by my behavior. It was reinforcing his. And so I think that when you don't make men, you know, responsible, you don't hold them responsible for their actions and how they treat you, then it's easy for us to be taken advantage of. And so my advice to other women from learning this would be for you not to keep being at his beck and call, for you not to make him feel as though, because your, your behavior reinforces other people's behavior and it's either positive or negative. I'm studying to be a behavior analyst. <laughs> You're probably gonna hear a lot of like all these behavioral things coming out of me now. But I mean, this was something obviously that I just know from being a human being is that when you allow something to be done to you, then you know, obviously it's gonna be done, but when you don't allow people to do certain things to you or treat you in a certain manner, then you make your way out of the situation or they change their behavior. So um, just some advice that you never let a man make you, or you never make a man feel like their time is a privilege for you, that, 
or to him rather. So, you know, you're not going to make it seem like his attention, his time and all those things are a privilege. It should be a privilege for both of you guys to have time, you know, people are busy, you know, if you work or you're going to school or whatever, you know, people are busy in general. So it's like, it shouldn't be an opportunity where one person feels like, you know, they're doing more than the other or the other person is taking advantage and manipulating the other person and only dealing with them when they want to. And men have this situation too, where women will do the same exact thing. Men that are um, being used for money and, you know, just different things, then yeah, there's there's an issue with women who will call them when they want to and deal with them when they want to you know give them sex when you know they feel like they need something so it works definitely both ways but being a woman <laughs> I empathize with the females in the situation that, you know, are, you know, beck and call girls. And that's just no way anybody wants to live. And so my advice that if you feel yourself being that person, then you really have to evaluate how that person feels for you. And meanwhile, this person's telling me, oh, I like you. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I want to have something more with you, blah, blah, blah. But that was just talking because his actions weren't lining up with, um, what he was saying and that's a big problem so red flags you know all around if their actions aren't lining up with their words then obviously there's a disconnect somewhere and you have to be strong enough to get out of a situation that is not bad or not good for you or not healthy for you so um, I hope that this helps somebody that's in this kind of craptastic situation um, where they feel like they're being manipulated or you know somebody's using them or anything like that so um, I really hope that you guys will have the strength to get out of it like I did and don't get me wrong it took a few months um, it wasn't overnight because you don't realize it and that's why I said like in one of my last videos I'm like when you're in the love bubble you don't realize that certain things are being done to you it's like you're slowly losing yourself and your self-respect but yet you don't realize it until it's really really bad so hopefully you guys will be able to you know find your way out of these situations because all it leads to is just stress for you and um, you know a loss of your self-respect a loss of your self-worth and you start feeling like you're not good enough when they start pulling that attention back from from you and then when they give it to you it's like you're on a high and then when they take it away you're on a low and it's just really destructive to you know your emotional well-being and your mental health so I hope that you guys will find a way out if you're in this situation um, but let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and share it if you enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going to be doing like a part two and probably part two and three and four and five <laughs> of ways that we make ourselves look desperate and just some other tips along the way. So please like this video and again, share it and I will see you guys next week.